morning, Gators. And welcome back to another edition of Swamp Talk. I'm Ellie. And I'm Isaiah. Now for some announcements. Leonard's Photography Studio was taking photos at prom this past Saturday. To view photos or see if they caught you on film, you can access the photos taken by the Leonard's Photographers at prom by going to the following website, schpix.com. Congratulations to Billy Gregory, Stefan Koenig for being selected as Students of the Month for May, and James Oberfeld and Jamique Valdez Waiters for Turnaround Students of the Month. Keep up the great work, Gator. The yearbooks will be distributed next Thursday during lunches in room 522. If you haven't gotten yours yet, make sure to order by today. If not, you'll have to wait until they come in to see if there are any extras. Once we sell out, that's it. So don't delay. Get yours today. The last day to check out books in the Media Center is May 17th. Stop in to see the new selection of books this year. Students, reminder. If you are scheduled to take an AP or IB test on the same day as a state test, you can only attend either the AP or IB test as there are no makeup days for AP or IB testing. However, there are makeup days for state testing. This week is National Nurses Week. We want to take a moment to say thank you to our wonderful school nurse who makes sure our gators are very well cared for at the school. You are the best, Mr. Robert, you guys. Here is a message from admin. We want our seniors to leave with positive experiences. Thus, we insist that all students refrain from any senior pranks during the end of the school year. As time goes on and the years pass, the intensity of these acts seem to increase. Please note participating in a senior prank can result in being denied participation in senior activities and even graduation. Some pranks in the past have been deemed unlawful and led students to be charged by the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. Please make smart choices. Now for some sports announcements. The LLHS Gator Hockey Team has a game tonight against Freedom White at the Advent Health Center, Rank D. Game time is 8 o'clock. Come out and support your Gators. Football is back, starting this Saturday with the Blue and Gold scrimmage from 9 to 12 at the Swamp. Enjoy lunch, popcorn, and ice cream while you watch. We are looking for the most spirited Gator. Then mark your calendars because the spring game is Friday, May 17th. Come watch your fellow Gators get ready for the upcoming season at Wesley Chapel. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. Now for the Week in Review. Good afternoon, Gators. I'm Cole. And I'm Hannah. Welcome back to the Week in Review, where we fill you in on a few events happening in our world. Despite once having been eradicated, measles has returned with a vengeance. 764 cases have been reported this year alone, and the numbers only seem to keep rising. Health officials blame the sudden increase in cases on the widespread anti-vaccine rhetoric and misinformation that has taken hold in the U.S. Just in case you weren't paying attention to your science classes, most vaccines contain a deactivated version of a virus. This is so the makers of the virus can be recognized should you come into contact with a live version, which allows your body to fight back, creating a practice immune system response that would otherwise wouldn't be able to create in time. The fear of the measles vaccine comes from the fact that it is attenuated, meaning that the vaccine contains a small amount of weakened live virus. This offers a higher degree of protection than a regular vaccination. Some people will feel themselves getting sick after being vaccinated. This is really just your body acting, activating its immune response to get rid of the weaker virus so it can protect you from the real deal. It's important to remember the vaccine saved lives, and by not getting yours, you are putting the lives of others, those who can't get vaccinated, like infants, at risk. Last Friday, a last-minute amendment to the health market reform bill ensured coverance for special eteral beverages. Eteral beverages are a special formula that is a replacement for food. This comes as a hard-fought victory for Stephanie Walls and her son Remington, who need these drinks to survive. Without insurance, this necessary formula will cost $26,000 a year. Now they're waiting on Governor DeSantis to sign this bill into law. Remington Walls graduated from Lando Lakes High School in 2018 and is currently attending Valdosta State University in Georgia. That's all for this week, Gators. See you next time for another edition of the Week in Review. Now for a recap of prom.
That's all for today, Gators. Tune in next time for another edition of Swamp Talk.